Um, this is my reflection on the short movie that I made called The Disappearance. So my project is that I wanted to finish a short suspenseful movie called The Disappearance. Um, my learning goal for this project was to be able to use Adobe After Effects to make a cool title effect of it coming in and going out of the shot. And my end result of my project was that I finished the movie and I feel like towards the end of my movie it the angles got a bit sloppy like I was I was trying to rush because my friend needed to go home and there was other stuff going on. Uh, the technology I used was Adobe After Effects, Final Cut Pro, a DSLR camera, I used a tripod with the camera, and I used YouTube to find tutorials to edit the film and used Adobe After Effects. I got everything to work on Final Cut Pro, but on Adobe After Effects, I had a little more problems exporting while my tile exporting my title the way I wanted it to be. The resources that were the best ways to follow someone that was clearly new, um, knew what they were doing, and it wasn't uh, maybe a 10 or 12 year old kid, but it was an adult, and I felt like an adult knows a lot more what they're doing compared to a 10 year, 11 year old kid. Um, my plan review, what I learned about this big project was that I had to find the time out of school to film this project because the time of the day, it takes place at night. And I kind of followed my plan. Uh, I followed it with my editing aspect of the film, which was using Final Cut Pro, but on the Adobe After Effects side, I fell off track. I didn't end up following the plan because I ended up getting really frustrated with Adobe After Effects and always had and I had to like restart the project like two times. So and I had to adjust my plan a little bit to get myself back on track to master Adobe After Effects and by coming in after school to work and edit my film and I had a huge problem exporting my After Effects work and so I had a little mess with that a little bit too. Um, what I learned, I learned that making a short film is really time consuming. Like I had to ask my friend when she could come over to my house and we could film for, for this video and it was just hard because I was busy and she was busy and the learning process I went through was a tough one with Adobe After Effects because I knew this, I was new to the soft, software and it took me longer to master than I thought I would have because I was able to master like Photoshop and Illustrator very easily compared to actually After Effects which is I found that was a little trickier to export and use. Um, my learning process on Final Cut was very little because I've used the software before and I've done a video through Final Cut Pro, but it wasn't but I done I did a lot more editing to this than the first one I used on Final Cut Pro. So Okay, so as you can see right here right here basically, um I had issues exporting. Uh, this was what it was really supposed to do. It was just supposed to come in. Here, I'll just play it. Bear with me, there will be. Here. It's supposed to just come in, and the stuff on the top is not supposed to be there whatsoever. And I was having the hardest time. I've tried multiple things to figure out how I could fix it and I just couldn't get done right and yeah I it went out the way it needed to go out but I just up here that wasn't supposed to be there but it, it looked 
really cool and as I said toward the end here it gets here um, the ankles kind of got a little bit on the sloppy hand just right here we ended up Waiting to be done in just about don't know how late. So it got pretty late at this point and it was the end right there and you can tell that we were kind of getting a little, I was getting a little sloppy, and my angles weren't as good as I got right here. Right here, I got a different types of angles and going and, and throughout this whole first parts, and then I kind of got a little sloppy towards the end, but when the mother comes in. So... Um, yeah, and then I learned a lot about this, and I had a, right here, all these film sessions, I ended up having to use the, um, edit, edit, edit it to be able, you weren't able to see on my screen when I was editing the film you weren't able to see her very well so I had to mess with the exposure and all that stuff so you can see right here it's, I got a little too carry away apparently then here I didn't so it was kinda I, you can tell I kinda don't have that consistency through, consistent, consistency through the whole thing about the brightness and exposure and the shadows and the highlights in the film. So I talked about um, everything went. I ended up taking songs off those. Um, you know, um, YouTube. To kind of give you that suspenseful. Yeah, I'll show you right now. I so I have music throughout these scenes from about here to. to hear. So you can hear buzzness in the background and then I ended up having to add you know you have those little things that pop out at you and I ended up adding here. I kind of give it some the editing part I was putting all the different angles that I had together and the more film you have of different angles or repeating film of the things that you want to film you have more choices more variety of things and depending on how much time you have um, to edit it and make it it really cool and high, nice quality like and I really hope you enjoyed um, watching this video